Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Tableau scenarios where we are going to find out how to calculate first day and last day of your current month and also your previous month. Along with that, we will also try to answer how to find out in you know, a weekday and week end sales. So these scenarios are important from your interview perspective and also real time perspective also. So let us get started without wasting much time. This is Rahul Pawar. Well, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm trying to create or solve this question like for finding out first day of the month. Now this can be used in many projects to find out or to truncate your date to the starting day of the month like that. So I'm naming my calculation as first day. And the base date I'm trying to take here is today is the date. Okay. So what does today gives us? So today is the date field I'm trying to use with this. I'll get today's date. So now when I truncate this, I should get the first day of the month that is my intention okay so 21 september we are in so we should get first september right so now let us try to do that i'm commenting this so it's finding out first day is pretty easy we should simply use date trunk function and which part of the date you want to truncate so i want to truncate at a month level so pass month of the date field that you want. So I'm taking today as the uh, date uh, date field. Click on this and I'm just dragging and dropping here to get and I'm taking exact date. We got the first day of the month, right? Now, likewise, I want to find out last day of the month and last day of the previous month also like that. Okay, so two things we can do it here. So simply what I will do is, uh, I'll try to duplicate the calculation so that you, know, you are very well aware how we built till here. So I'm just, uh, where did you go? Okay, and I'm writing this as my last day. So to find out last day, first what I'm doing is I'm going to next month. Like say this is, we are in September, right? So I want to add month to my today function or whatever the month is there by one so that it should go to next month. So I will get October. That will be the first step. Now, when I truncate that, it will take us to the first day of the month, but I'll do minus one from there so that, you know, we get last day of the month. So what I'm doing is again, date add, simply date add. So month I'm doing, okay. So date add of, uh, what is the date part month I need. So I'm passing month here and I want to add one date to this date here. Okay, so this you need to understand how it is working here. So whatever the date is there, so one nine we got here. So simply if I add one here, I'll get one ten. Okay, so if I try to add this here, same thing, make it exact date, make it discrete, you will see the difference. We got first day of the next month. Right, but we want last day of current month. Now, how can we do simply? So we know that you know this is the first day. So if I do a minus one, we will get automatically last day of the previous month. So again, I'm doing a date add. So this time I'm subtracting day part here. Okay, so this part you need to understand. I'm subtracting day and I'm doing minus one comma to this thing here. Okay, again, close one bracket. Click on apply. Now see here we got last day of the month. 
which is matching okay so similarly if at all i want to find out my last day of my previous month i can also do minus one here let us see what will happen it is giving us last day of the last month okay so date add of minus one if i do And if I remove one here, it is giving me first day of the month here, last month. Or this way you can do, or again, uh, the other would be, if at all I want to get the last day of the last month, then day of minus one of this month. It should give me last day of my previous month that way also you can do okay so few calculations that you need to remember simply you need to play with your date add and you know which part of the day you are adding and you are doing simply you can solve these questions using these three functions together date trunk of month should get you the first day and how you are using minus one and this day part and month part with that you should be able to solve your first day and last day questions okay so very interesting scenario is this one now let us see the next one i want to find out week day and weekend sales okay so this type of uh, scenario is coming up you know a lot these days so I, I thought of covering it so for that i want to first find out what are my week day and weekend okay so for that what i'm doing is i'm trying to uh sorry i'm trying to create a calculation called as weekday and I'm using date name of uh, weekday, okay? From my order date I'm taking. So I'm trying to find out what are my you know, days in a week, okay? Let us see what will be the output of this. So if you see here, it is in a string format. I'm trying to drop it on rows. So we got Sunday to Saturday here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and all. This is in string format, but I need integer format. So I'm just trying to duplicate it. And I'll edit and maybe I'll write it as integer here. So instead of date name, I'll try to write it as date part here. Okay. Click on apply. And if I convert this into now see here Sunday is one and Saturday is seven okay so it is starting from one and it is going till seven now we know that Sunday and Saturdays are weekends right so I'm trying to classify this using a simple statement here okay create a calculation field to find out whether it is a weekday or weekend okay so if my weekday of integer is in uh, i'm using in function one comma seven then i'm calling it as weekend else it is a weekday for me okay so got it in the, from this calculation if my week integer is in one or seven then it them and then i'm calling that as a weekend otherwise it is a weekday okay so click on apply if i take this and drop it here you see for one and seven i'm getting as a weekend for all others it is a weekday simply okay now we will use this as our base to find out sales for weekday and weekend okay so now if i remove all of this we should get only two okay again i'm creating one more calculation here and i'm calling it as weekend or weekday sales okay if my weekday or weekend is equal to 
or simply if you, you want to uh, drag and drop sales automatically it is giving us sales so this way also you can do or you can write it in a calculation suppose you need only weekday sales and not weekend then in that situation we can write a calculation here like say weekday calculation i want to find out uh, if weekday or weekend is equal to weekday then i want sales and i'm ending it simple okay then what would what is the error here okay now weekday sales if i drag and drop So we got it okay so this way also you can solve simple statement okay so for this what is important is how you are trying to find out whether it is a weekday or a weekend simple okay so if you are able to solve this i think you know you have achieved what you need in the requirement so with this scenario i am ending my video i hope you have liked the video if you does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day